So my apologies, Misha, let's start that over. So to all the viewers out there, welcome back to another Instat webinar on a Tuesday at noon Eastern time and 7 p.m. in Moscow. Um, we're lucky this week. We have a, you know, Instat's a large international company. We cover a lot of leagues around the world in hockey. And we have uh, Misha Bukov um, with Kunlin Red Star, the video coach there, formerly with Vladivostok, and also has done a lot of other things, I suppose. And uh, he's going to go through Instat, his uses of Instat on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe explain to us a little bit how they're, how Instat can benefit a KHL team. Uh, explain to us. Okay, in NHL, I heard rumors uh, season starts in January, so many teams in KHL is looking for top foreigners right now. Because <laughs> our season you know, that starts could. in September, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. So I think what we're going to do here is you're going to share your screen, correct? And yeah. uh, you're going to just walk us through how, first of all, you know, how uh, a KHL team, how this saves time for a KHL team, correct? Yeah. Okay. So just a few seconds. Uh, I will show that screen. There so we go. Here we go. Okay. So um, here's Insta. Insta main web page. So KHL. And how long, people, quickly, how long have you been using Instat? Uh, I think it's uh, four years in a row. Okay. For, from the really beginning. So you're very well versed in it. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I try to help guys every year to improve it and uh, make really good result because uh, we use it every day. Our guys, like video guys, it really helps to us. Because you know, KHL, it's a little bit big difference between uh, North American, like European leagues and KHL, because uh, KHL, it's a huge league. I mean, like areas, distance between one city and another one. So I think you can't manage, like our team can fly from Beijing or Shanghai to Helsinki, capital Finland. And uh, you, can, you can be in an uh, airplane 14 or 15 hours. So it's wow. a long flight. Yeah, so between games, we have a long flight, for example, from Sochi to Magnitogorsk, it get, takes like four or five hours. So you come in right after the game to airplane, you fly to other destination and you come in at 5 a.m. because like uh, different the time, time zone. zones. Yeah, so you have just like only three, four hours before practice to prepare everything, like all the cups, all meetings and everything for coaches. And you have to use this platform really quickly. So Instat helps us to do it fast, really, really fast. Well, that's so, wonderful. No, that is good to know. Yeah, I think yeah. people forget that there are so many time zones that you have to travel through in Russia. Yeah. In comparison to some other leagues. So that is a very interesting point that you bring. So, so uh, for example, uh, it helped us uh, to make meetings in like in one or one and a half hours. It really helps because you have to sleep a little bit if you go and <laughs> sleep at 6 a.m. Yeah, and you go into to, to the practice at 2. Um, so you have like two, three hours to prepare everything, shows meeting, and you keep rolling. You could keep doing your job and prepare for next opponent right after that. Yes. So, for example, so you can walk show, us through. Yeah, why don't you walk us through how you would prepare yeah, for I can one? Show how it usually works in KHL, and I spoke to many of our colleagues in KHL. I want to say hello to all, all, all my friends who works. It's a tough work, by the way. So, uh, how we usually do it? Uh, here's a main page of uh, Instat. I will move my little bit. I will move it. So, here's a uh, main page. Here's so once our, you sign in and you the main page is the one you sign into, and then you search for the team, and this is the main team page, yeah. right? Once so you've CSK, the CSK, CSK Moscow, Red Army, mm -hmm. I think it's the most famous uh, team in North America. So I will explain uh, everything here. So, for example, our next opponent is CSK. It's a top team. What we can hear, what, uh, what, what exactly we can see here. So here's the opponents uh, in last... For example, 20 games, uh, you can search, you can choose it here for, and also for example, it's good. Here's many, many games since 2016. So it's a big library and you can find any information for the last four years. For example, uh, CSK. Uh, we see here, they played last 20 games and they lose only one, two, three, only three games. So red is lose, green is wins. So, hi, they are in fire. 
<laughs> what else you can see here? Uh, Face-offs, uh, penalties, and rest of things. So like if, if you can read English, you can do it by yourself. So for me, it's more interesting, uh, like example of my job, what I'm doing here. So first of all, you can, uh, you can choose last game. So you can uh, find full game. It's open in your window. Uh, oh, sound, sound, sound. I'll stop it. I'll stop it. So here's full periods. First, second, third period, and overtime. So you can easily download it and get it. And uh, here's it, like two different cameras, like a TV screen, because I know uh, North American players, they like to see a TV broadcast quality, and our coaches like it. And uh, second things in, uh, in KHL, we also use our own cameras, like technical cameras, which we use during the game to film it and call it uh, like during the periods. So, Here's the different views. So if it's like in TV camera, some kind of uh, delay or some problem, you can you can get it in, uh, from technical cameras at some moment. So you can download full games. For example, if you like to see, uh, I don't know, like Finnish league, Swedish league, Norwegian league, not uh, not only like German league, rest of many many leagues in the world, you can download full games, watch and feel difference between hockey. Uh, what else here? Here's like penalties. You can get information how often uh, our opponent get penalties in which situations and uh, how they usually get it. So like slow, they slow in D zone or some breakaways or rushes. It can help you to win a game. Uh, hits, penalties against, hits against goals. Here's like one thing which I really like here. It's like show opponent stats. Let's push here. So here's a statistic for uh, CSK Moscow and like highest one CSK, lowest one is Torpedo. It's their opponent. So you can push here and see how CSK scores goals. And lowest one, how opponent scores to them. So you can get it right away. And for example, if you, uh, if you like wake up in a new city, you can get it right away to watch how they get goals against to understand like what do you lose. Right. Yeah, also, uh, next one is really important. It's the scoring chances. So, uh, for example, if you just uh, begin your job uh, and you like a rookie or amateur, just uh, download it, show your head coach, and he's gonna, gonna find the best best options to, to beat them. Like, ju just to watch scoring chances, how opponents create chances against them. Usually it's some typical mistakes which helps us in the future. Uh, Face-offs, it usually helps to our sentiments, but uh, in the future I will show how I uh, share it to my sentiments. So, uh, here's a, one of the interesting information in the main page. Uh, also, we can go a little bit down. Here's a look like uh, playtime phases, so we can watch uh, how opponent plays in O-zone, neutral zone, D-zone, DZS coverage. So, our coaches who are responsible for, Z, for like different parts of, uh, of like uh, surface. They're gonna watch it and uh, find the uh, best keys to win. And here's the power play in shorthanded. You can, uh, so like you can find here's like uh, positive and uh, positive power play, positive uh, shorthanded play. So you can find exactly that moments when they got wins and uh, when they got goals, power play goals for uh, or PK goals against. But I really like to use video summaries. So here's a little bit more comfy for me i don't know so like here's the goals you can choose power play goals for last 20 games as we choose 20 games so here's like 14 goals in power play which csk scores so we can push in and uh, watch it right away so it's easy to show our like uh, assistant coach who, who is responsible for power play just to watch it and show and find some kind of moments for that so every time that you click something, it comes up to the playlist. And then the playlist, if you can just show quickly how you can share that very quickly, right? So if we go back to those power play goals that you just had. Yeah. yeah. And you click there, it comes up and shows 14 in the last 20 games. Yeah, you 14 power play goals. Yeah, it's coming in a new window. Yep, it know. comes up in a new window. It might take a second to load just because it's scraping a lot of data. Yeah. And it comes up here, and every page video-wise, correct, it appears like this, and it's simple. If you want to share this with your 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 penalty kill coach, you yeah. just go. Yeah, to yeah. so page. I just I, I just can yeah, can share it to some of our players or person who is responsible for that. Just put here his uh, 
name and you can uh, put some comments notes and here's a uh, email and I'm gonna be send it pretty easy and and nice perfect uh, wonderful yeah uh, also what also i used to show our coaches uh, often like for power play usually how we split it like uh, power play so we separate for like power play in zone and power play breakouts mm -hmm. and pk it's a pk for check and pk and so on to show like some seams and rest of interesting play so what exactly you can see here also it's uh like uh opponent goals also like in power play at even straight two just to show which is like typical mistakes for both both sides and some of uh, situations we can use and just repeat it and score the goal same face-offs uh you can send it to coaches and to players too uh what else what else what else and uh next one is a goalies goalies uh, i really like to see both of them so for example Ilya uh, sorokin who is going islanders right uh probably so for me it's easiest way to see here goalie his like best zones just choose what you really need here then you can print it or i for example like to to do a screenshot and then just delete rest of things from there and get the big clean uh, information and send it and to our goalie coach mr dustino so he can watch for example many goals from this angle you can just push here and watch it's, it's going to be like big tape with all goals in this position like on a roll right oh, it's coming yeah it's also some delay because uh, but it comes up as the same playlist that you just shared right so it's yeah. a, it comes up in the same format and then you can just click share video or share playlist i should say and send yeah. it off to the goalie coach so yeah also for example uh usually i like to show him because uh, uh he's like our new goalie coach he works in kitchen only like first season so all goalies for him is like uh, new guys most of them so i just like to show him like all goals like in last uh, 10 10 games right. or like last 10 uh, shots against to, to show his style and everything uh, i think it's pretty enough to to understand what kind of goalie it is and what is his style and uh, how we can beat him and use uh, his uh, positive and negative moments right uh, i think it's pretty clear what else here nice. uh, let's come back to basic lines uh, so you can choose a defenseman lines who played last, uh, for example, last three games, and you can get uh, uh, view how they usually play together and who is the best uh, best options to them and uh, find a way how to beat them. Uh, but originally, KHL we knows and we prepare before game like roster uh, about our opponent because usually. Officially in KHL, you can get roster about opponent 50 minutes before the game starts. Oh, okay, so that's face, face off. Not, not, not from, from the like early morning, like in different uh, leagues. 50 minutes before game. So usually I prepare it before, like, I don't know, like one day before I already know who I'm going to play or I'm going to miss. Yeah, you can just sort of the trends of who's playing together, who's not, right? Yes, Going yeah. to kind of advanced uh, beyond the lineup card coming to you. Also, it's a good uh, page to view is the skaters. So if you don't know who is in that team, who is opponents, you can get information or it's better to use it uh, to analyze our, like our last five games, our last 10 games to understand what's going on, maybe some problems, because you know, statistic, uh, you know, this kind of Russian joke, like statistics, it's like lady in bikini. She shows you a lot, but not everything. <laughs> so, if, you, you know, in some situations, you can understand what's going wrong, what's going wrong, like uh, not correct, everything like going normal, but not result. And so here you can find a way like uh, who is uh, in like, who is in fire and who is not in a good shape. So like minus, uh, I don't know, like minus five in the last 10 games of like, hey, maybe this guy is tired, maybe he needs some rests. Yeah, so like it's also a good um, option to check like, okay, let's take last 10 games in CSK. So you can get uh, scoring chances, who creates more chances like uh, Kirill Kaprizov. It's a really good guy who's going to NHL. I wish him good luck. 
uh, Mikhail Grigorenko, he also got the NHL, so good guy. So you can see like most dangerous players and you can get, uh, you, you can understand how is really they uh, dangerous, like, right. how is their skills, everything. So here's also, you can find like all information about face-offs. So usually I send all these face-offs like uh, to our sentiments. It's so, also like pretty easy. You can find uh, finding your know, like sharing window, you can create a group. And send like for centermans, for defensemen, for goalie, for example. For goalie, I like to send uh, shootouts because uh, our goalies like to, they have to know how to do it and our goalie coach right. have to know how to do it. Yeah, what else? So here's also like good information who, who is on fire in our opponent. Like, yeah, just check. Kirill Caprizov, couple, couple last 10 games, 10 goals. Any, <laughs> any questions? Yeah, so. Because he did pretty also, well. Okay. Yeah. So it's a main thing for me to prepare all the material for our meeting because I like usually I do coding by myself. I like I break down the pony. Like, well, then you can go once you look at Kaprizov and you see Grigorenko with him all the time. Uh, you can go back to basic lines and say, are these two playing together? How do they play together? Correct. So you could go back there, go to yeah, just literally forward lines. forward lines and say, okay, are these two playing together? And I have the screen minimized a little bit here, uh, so I can't see exactly, but there we go. Yeah, so you can see that they're actually not. So they're actually both playing separately and playing well together. Yeah, they're it's playing, two different uh, well, lines. Yeah, but yeah. like it's a like it's. A, I think it's a pretty pretty modern style. Like two really good lines with uh, skillful guys. But it's important that you can go see how they're using their lines and how they're using the combinations yeah, of lines. Exactly. Even if you're going to exactly. go play. If you're going to um, trade for a guy, right, then you can go in and see how they're using him and how he would be best used on your team. Yeah, exactly. But usually, you, you know, many players in the league and you know how somebody plays and how yeah. you can beat him and how you can use him in the future. Uh, what else? What else here? So for me and from like, uh, big hello for my colleagues, you know, guys in KHL. We can use this kind of library as a, uh, I was trying to find the words. Like uh, you can compare levels in different leagues, like Swedish league, Finnish league, NHL, American hockey league, KHL, uh, Swedish league, Germany, Ebel, or rest of leagues. So if you're scouting for some players, new player for your league, you have to understand, is he really good enough for KHL? Is he really strong enough? Because, uh, uh, you know, uh, our league is a little bit different uh, compared to other leagues. Because uh, one of the main ideas in our league is like Brave List. Uh, like your personal skills, like one-on-one -on -one skills, your dribbling, your like stick handling skills. What else? Like, um, like puck possession, yeah. And because it's like a huge surface and you have many time, like more time compared to NHL to make decision. So how you use that like few more seconds with, uh, with the puck. And also main thing is like your character. Because uh, in our league, it's pretty tough to win games. Like it's a pretty tough uh, uh, games. Every game is like, we don't have many games like eight, six or seven, five or something like that. Most of games like two, one or three, two, because it's a pretty competitive level in KHL. So most of players should be really strong, mentally strong, powerful, and they should be ready to, to play through the pain and the rest of, you know, problems. Right. Yeah. So you're, you're, what you're, I think what you're alluding to is that you, you scout players internationally to compare them, right? So if yeah. you wanted to go into, I don't know, uh, whatever. Like league, players, a, yeah, like, for example, uh, in CSK, who should be most, uh, oh, yeah, Lindway, for example. Let's uh, have a look, quick look on him. It's a guy who played in, uh, in SCA, St. Petersburg. He signed a new contract, maybe just like one week ago or two weeks ago. And he played before CSK two years in uh, Paris Astana probably too. So he's a strong, interesting, skillful player. In my humble opinion, he's in the top 15 uh, foreigners in KHL. So I think North American uh, followers or our YouTube viewers 
to know him well. So, for example, just uh, just image uh, my team should uh, find a player like that, and his agent send us uh, his information and uh, GM or GM send hey Misha, I need video on him. So we should find a way how to find all information about him. So about his like hockey skills. Here's a page of like player. It's like in Wikipedia, you know, <laughs> like all this information about you. So here's like, uh, if you have a small screen, here's like uh, size, his uh, position, uh, old, how old is he? And uh, you can uh, find a way, for example, his mostly goals in front of the net area. You can see it here and many shots here. It's in this season. Yeah. So what exactly you can find here? So we can choose here like full season, all games. Uh, we can see here it's like time on ice. Okay, we see he played a lot, really a lot. So probably he was a like, for example, just match. I don't know anything about this player. Yeah, he just like some linda way. So he played a lot. So probably he's where first and second line. Also, we can check his previous team in forward lines and and see, he played in first or second line too. Yeah, how many shifts he plays? Okay, it's a lot. So he's uh, strong enough, he's in good shape, he can play a lot. It's, it's okay for a good, strong team. Also, you can find the goals here. So we can choose all goals of the season and have a quick look on it and just push and see how he scores usually. And uh, it helps you to understand what kind of player he's how much he scores by himself or he's just like power play guy who who is shooting from one uh one dot yeah and he needs some kind of uh, playmaker some qb right. for him and he's like uh, maybe he's nothing i mean like in, in general and he he should uh he should be better than uh, only his statistics yeah so here's assists so also you can uh, have a quick look uh, how many assists he made this season, past this season, and uh, just understand how we can use him. Can we use him in uh, power play? Can we use him in uh, PK? And uh, maybe. So, this is how you would evaluate, sorry, a player internationally. Anybody that's proposed to you guys, uh, you know, an agent sends you a player, mm -hmm. you get a word that a player might be interested in coming to the KHL, this is how you would go about scouting them, correct? Yeah, yeah, that's like our, I mean, like, casual, casual view on this, like, scouting, yeah? So here's the points. Also, you can uh, get all this information of his points, how he get it. Usually, his plus, minus, plus, minuses. For me, it's interesting to, to have a quick look on uh, minuses and understand understand how usually uh, opponent scores when he was nice. So maybe he's lazy. Maybe he didn't know how to protect uh, that front or some rest of things yeah uh, are we okay with our connection yeah. okay? no i can hear you okay. you're doing great you're going through the minuses yeah. and how they score against yeah, him yeah, what, yeah. what are uh, his so ne next one is uh, more interesting for me is scoring chances so also it's uh, interesting to understand is he a, like qb or he is just like uh, how do you call it grinder Guy or, if he's, or, or if he's a scorer or is he the guy distributing? I think yeah, is what yeah. we were saying. Also, it's there. interesting uh, for me to, to have a look on his penalties. What's about his shape, his legs? Uh, is he lazy? What's about his like uh, effort and uh, work ethic for the team? And also like penalties against. Because, you know, in some teams we have uh, guys and them role is just like mostly get penalties because of they, they don't have, maybe they don't have enough skills. Yeah, but they have a character and they just drive to the net and defenseman beat him and he get penalty and we get a power play. It's also part of the job. So uh, some teams need that kind of guys and they're pretty, uh, pretty good for the team, for team, uh, you know, for team soul. Or how well, the team building, right? The, yeah, the building, different yeah. pieces to perform different yeah. roles. And exactly. So here's like face offs. So you, you can like, what should, should I explain here too? Okay, well, so uh, uh, yeah, percentages. Obviously, yeah. You, you spoke yeah, about it, it's, it's pretty high. So, so, so you can understand how you can use him in uh, 
in a PK, for example, in like situations when can he play in three on five in the last minute when opponent uh, makes it like a empty net and like six yeah. versus three. So can we trust him or no? And how often he goes on, on ice on like a PK and three on five. And uh, also it's interesting hits and hits against how's his like uh, body check um, competitive level like because uh, <laughs> you know sometimes uh, he, in my experience, I remember one guy, I don't want to tell who is that, uh, after each hit on him, that guy stand, check his helmet, and then goes. So, <laughs> like, every time he, like, missed one or two seconds, and he was a defenseman. It wasn't our team. It wasn't, like, some opponent. And I was just looking at him like, hey, like, no, <laughs> we can't sign him. We can't lose, like, defenseman if it's just – just the matches like uh, last so the hits can show you the competitive style of the player and yeah, see it's, it's just like my personal opinion it's just right. my personal opinion yeah so for me it's interesting and insta shows you all these situations so of course you can you can you can look like just two three hits and understand yeah he's big strong enough but like uh, what kind of uh, idea of the hits just beat somebody kill somebody or just like separate between like a player and puck or do it for for your like team tactics what else? Shots and uh, shots on goal. So it's like how often he shoots and how like big like percentage. Which, shots which can also be shown to the left, right? In the shooting, uh, in the shooting or the ice, uh, the shot view, right? You yeah, can filter yeah. through the shots here, shots on goal, shots on goal. Yeah, and like playlist in the top right. Yeah. How many actually hit the goal, etc. So you had seventy four. Yeah. So. Oh. Originally, <laughs> I didn't uh, use it, so <laughs> I don't know how to fix it. Okay, uh, so next page is also interesting. It's the shots. Uh, most important thing for North America, as I know, because like uh, it's a main idea to shoot. Uh, in case your main idea to win. Uh, so, uh, so here you can, <laughs> yeah. So here you can uh, see. Yeah, you know, like uh, it's a different kind of um, um, spectators. So in KHL, uh, it's interesting to see some kind of, uh, you, you know, like a crafty play, some crafty pass, some crisscross play on entry, all this like, um, you know, fancy game. And uh, people, they, they really spectate, they really like it. Because uh, like, if you if you drive into the zone, you just shoot, everybody like, okay, he just shoot. Yeah, but if, he, if you're doing something more beautiful, uh, yeah, so for some, it's, it's more interesting, yeah. So more spectators, more money. Follow clubs. What else? Shootouts. You can uh, look how he goes on shootouts. Can we use him or no? So, like all this uh, information about shots, Corsi, is here. And uh, yeah, also for me, it's interesting to look at uh, wrist shots and slap shots. For example, for me, interesting to look how often he shoots uh, like wrist shots in rushes and breakaways, like two on one, three on two, and like. Also, is he a playmaker? And like in in last second, he gonna pass or he gonna shoot. It's pretty important for for some like games when it's like price is too high to win or to lose. Right, right. Yeah. So you, all this, so there's just an immense amount of data that you can walk through and pretty much see whatever you desire about each player that you're trying to view. Correct. Yeah. It's pretty so much what like, you're. So every yes. one of our breakdowns brings some sort of value to what you're trying to identify in a player. Yeah, so we hear many, many information. So like uh, I'm some kind of like, you know, like hockey geek. So I can spend all day just to check what's going on, look in every scene. So it's interesting. So if you really like it, you're going to spend like many, many, many hours here. Yeah, so you can search. We have a huge international library or database, as you mentioned earlier, of games going back multiple years. And you can see, I think it's a huge benefit that we bring to scouting departments and to um, video coaches that are you know, pre-scouting opponents, et cetera, is you can see trends because we just have an immense amount of, of games broken down. Yeah, exactly. So probably yeah. last, last, last things on, on this page is like for me, of course, it's uh, like uh, breakouts by stick handling, because like also in KHL we like to do some like uh, you know fancy, crafty, nice, smooth uh, set breakouts, and like just beat a point on a blue line, just 
it's pretty nice. So you, you can check how we can use him in power play breakouts and set breakouts. Can he be our like a, a puck mover? Right. And also here was like giveaways and takeaways because uh, it's a some kind of uh, small information, but it's like uh, small details can give you big uh, problems uh, if you didn't uh, did it, didn't check it before. It was like how many giveaways and takeaways how he's like effective in these situations and probably blocking shots. Yeah, shot blocking. For me, it's also interesting when you look at uh, defenseman, how he goes and blocks. Me or s s somebody's just like laid down in like, it's like uh, uh, last chance safe, you know? Right. <laughs> like, <almost> like <laughs> always. So yeah, so you should be prepared for these situations and like, if it's uh, coming first time uh, during the game, you, you should say like, like oh, whoa, what's going on? Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so like it's a, for me, it's a really good way how to know everything about player from like hockey side. So you have a website, you have a time, just let's go. Just take your time and enjoy and find the best options for players. Because in, in KHL, we have a, like a, not short roster, but that kind of roster, which is shorter than in North America. So uh, mostly it's like a 30, 32 players, which you can use during the season. So originally it's like pretty, uh, pretty important to find like right guys to your roster. Right. So it helps you to well, for budget purposes, money. everything, right? Yeah. It yeah, exactly. helps you identify the correct player um, initially instead of after. Yeah. And so, uh, also, here's one thing which is interesting. It's like playtime phases. It's a different part of surface. Like I worked before with uh, Frederick Stillman. It's a pretty, pretty uh, in, uh, famous uh, Swedish coach who was a GM and have a, have a 71. Uh, it's a pretty interesting coach. He was one of uh, guys who create all this like Swedish uh, program of like developing uh, Swedish young players. So, yeah, I was learning a lot from him. So for Swedish, it's a pretty uh, important how like game splits before uh, zones and how many time you spend in different zones. Like if you are, uh, if, if it's like game 60 minutes and you spent um, 15 minutes during the game, like uh, exit under pressure, maybe it's uh, pretty long. Maybe you have to, to make it short. So it's like different look on different parts of hockey helps you uh, so for example uh, yeah like if it's if it's like small team with a small budget and you're a head coach and probably your owner or gm in the, like in the, in the one person uh, you you can find a way how to play power play how to use like some breakouts and you can download and save it. Like for example, I save many, many, many situations like in power play, in breakouts. And when we have like young guys who asks, hey, uh, what should I do in uh, power play if I play in junior team? We, okay, let's go. I have like a 15 or 20 clips for you. You can find a way and uh, find a good situation. Like for example, do you remember that guy uh, from uh, Sweden who scores like Ross goal on world championship? Yes. So I think I saw his, uh, he tried to I don't do remember it. his exact name, but. Yeah, so. So one thing I do want to say just quickly to the viewers, uh, yeah, if you have any sorry. questions, please, I, 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 no, I just, please write to, okay. um, I just please want to share the chat. Just please write in the chat any questions that you might have for Misha and or myself, and uh, we can answer those as quickly as possible for you. Okay, I just want to show you. Oh, this Hoglander, I believe. Yeah, Nils Hollander, yeah, look at him. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. It was two years ago. And I just say it like, Fuck. like for and, example, he's amazing. He's and you huge. can find this game as well if you go up and search for Hoglander, yes. correct? So yeah, yeah, if, if you just, uh, if you see him first time, you just like, oh, he's so young. He's so skilled. Like, uh, uh, I, I don't know, he's, yeah, he was. So you can find goals and uh, chances how he creates it. And you can find, hey, and you can find some guy who's like in a, your junior team and he has like a crown and you say, hey, look at him, look at you. Yeah, just repeat. So here's like some kind of also, it's like uh, lessons 
for young players how to play like some kind of player. It's a good platform for coaches who is doing like the kind of job like uh, uh, Robbie Shep, who was before, who was in webinar, like, uh, you know, like Brandon Wong, the Academy, or all, all these guys who try to develop player by themselves, like, and explains them all these small details. It's pretty nice. You just sign, get license, and you can show many, many young guys how to play and which kind of skills you can use for that. Right. Yeah, wonderful. So I think I should stop my screen. Oh, okay. You can stop it. So, yeah, first of all, thank you, Misha, for sharing all that. That was a load yeah. of information, and we really appreciate it. It's always fascinating to see, you know, how how different, well, I guess, regions of the world, in this case, uh, utilize the same platform of Instat. Uh, once again, I would ask any of the, the listeners, do you have any questions? We're, we lag a little bit here, so what we're speaking about will come up in just a moment. So we just have to wait to see if there are any questions coming in, and uh, that'll happen in just a moment here. Okay. So what's going on in St. Petersburg currently? Is it uh, still quarantine? Uh, yes, some kind of that. But uh, in Russia officially, we haven't uh, all these like uh, pretty straight rules how to how to be in this situation. Yeah. So what else? Well, I was going to ask you, let's, let's go through the questions here. Let's go through. How is the weather right now in St. Petersburg? <laughs> oh, it's, I think it's, pre, it's pretty nice for me. It's like plus, plus 20. It's okay. It's comfy. Oh, that is very nice. It's warmer than it is where I am in Cleveland. Yeah. So it doesn't look, Misha, like we have any questions coming in. So I just want to extend a thank you again for coming on, for sharing your time with us, for sharing how you utilize the platform. I learned an awful uh, or an awful lot, or I can't even speak currently. Awful? I learned a lot. Okay, of try, try in Russian. <laughs> try it in Russian. Yanimanoga <laughs> Gavaru uh, Paruski. Oh, amazing. Amazing. There you go. So there's the limitations of my Russian, but uh, just wanted to thank you very much uh, from Instat, from myself, for coming on and explaining everything. And we appreciate, uh, we appreciate you working with the platform and we look forward to staying in touch with you and providing anything we can to benefit you and uh, Kunlin. Thank you very much for your time today. Have a great day.